Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Last time we left off, we had made it to Tree Town and learned of something interesting. I'm actually going to go back in and talk to the uh, elder here. I have opened the dance parlor. Dance and have fun. Forget your troubles for a time. Oh, interesting. So the dance parlor is actually kind of nifty. Whoa. I remember slinking up like that. We get a heart squid for doing it. The dance parlor is open all. Ready? And it, well, this is actually where you get to see the hula outfit for the first time if you haven't unlocked it. Here are the rules. When the music starts, the turbulent hip shaking begins. Strike a pose and see if you can hit a mask shaped target up above. Bigger masks even mean bigger winnings. Show us what you've got. So this is pretty straightforward. Shanda is gonna dance to her heart's content up top, and you just time your your shots. She'll get faster and faster with each shot, and you do want to hit a decent score if possible. Just keep in mind you've only got so many shots, but they give you plenty of chances. Got the ten. Got the five. Can I get the other five? Yeah! And it's just hitting the small ones, that's the challenge now. Got it! They give you a good amount of tries. I think they give you till clear the screen. Ah, oh, timing. Really? I got it. Okay, the last one? Ah, oh, yeah! 20 gem bonus! You've got great moves! Let's talk! Those moves? You dance in such a weird and wonderful way! I sense true hope in your heart. Please, tell the chief he must worry no more. I will, but I kind of want that heart squid. There will be time for more dancing later. For now, please share your hope with our chief. Okay. That is actually a good hint. It is hopeless. I will never see my daughter Vera again. My chief! This young lady has proven that she carries true hope in her heart. There is a special joy to be found in her strange, wiggly movements. A joy that gives us hope for tomorrow. That transcends even strict content rating thresholds! <laughs> I swear, the only reason this game has a teen rating is because of boobies. That's it. <laughs> but most of all, it gives us courage to face our fears. And speak in bold text. I must go and tell the others. Smile, Chief. Smile for your daughter. Ugh. She is right. <laughs> I must not mourn my daughter. She is still alive. I can feel it deep in my heart. Young woman, thank you for, for this gift of hope. Please, take this. We now have what's considered a useless object. Okay. That is a useless object. It was a gift to me from my own father. I do not like it. It serves no purpose. But I believe you will give it one. My heart goes with you. In other words, you forgot exactly what to use it on. Okay. Well, let's see if I can go back to the dance studio now and dance for that heart squid. You can't just tease me with it. Yes. Here are the rules. Yep. Alright, let's see if I can get that heart squid. Good timing there. I want to try and hit the big ones first, if possible. Ah, swing and a miss. It's now going to cost gems for each run, so... Yes, I will keep going until I can clear it. I should have plenty of gems for it, after all. If my aim was anything to go by. 
Oh my god, Shante! <laughs> Dang it! Really? Oh, the timing is poor. I remember not doing this for very long. Gotcha! Awesome, awesome. Uh, one more. May as well hit the big ones if possible. Nice. And no, I'm done. Let's see what I got. <laughs> but uh, squid. What do I need to get squid? I wish I knew. I guess I'll have to come back later. I probably need a certain score and I just don't have it. I am gonna heal though before I go anywhere. There we go. So that key is actually very handy to us. Just like the elder said, he's just completely forgotten what it's used for because it's been sealed for so long. Mermaid. And a little bit of slowdown due to so many animations running at once. A lot. Mermaids take a while to take out. Ooh, nice jumping frog card. I think I need a few more of those still. Wouldn't mind another mermaid card, I only need one more. Where to get one of yours? I'll take a pork bowl though. More healing items I can carry, the better. Alright, I gotta bring these back. If I want to. I did find out that the plank icon will actually disappear completely if you found everything you can get here. So let's see if there's anything I'm missing while I'm here. Is that? May as well. Take a look, never hurts. Okay. So this is where we need the key. Shapes on this useless object match the markings on this hatch. Yes. Here goes nothing. They couldn't animate that. Okay. And again, again, a game that was broken up into episodes. The mossy biome. Awesome. So we are now in a different sector of the giant map we are in, and it looks like it wants us to go that way. Probably a wise idea, but you know me, curiosity. Yeah, that'll be hefty stuff for later. It looks like this is one way. Hmm. What's this? Huh? Kinda looks like something's missing. I know it wants us to go that way. Good to know. Alright. Well, let's see what we can find. Ooh, another monster card. Handy. And I'm running out of magic. Come back later then. Oh, I know the reason it's used here. There they are. 
There are hidden enemies in this area. And they're really easy to get hit by. I'll leave them be. Wow, that is the easiest I've ever taken one of those guys out. Holy. I didn't want to fall, but okay. And I kind of want that. Thank you. Oh, a nugget. Handy. Not where I wanted to go, though, but good to know I ha got it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try and take out the mermaid because if I can get one more card, I can actually use their ability. Nope. <laughs> Well, there was one. Ah, and there's the other. Okay. You know what? Just so I don't end up using my auto potion by mistake. Uh, let's go with this. I guess that's basing on percentage of my health, which, meh. Really? That didn't hit. My goodness. Okay. And right on top of them. Yeah, that would be me. Nothing. Gotta be something if there's Plink showing off. Oh, something I can't get right now. Alright, let's see. Looks like I want to go right... Okay. Can I get anything in here? No. Oh, there's something in here I can get, though. Couple hidden things, and they just showed off one of them. Don't understand that one, though. Okay. Back over here. Looks like Mimic's here, too, but before that, if I'm gonna be given goodies, I'm gonna get them. Shante! What are you doing behind the wall? I've been looking for you ever since you fell from sight! You aren't hurt, are you? No, Uncle, I'm fine. Good. Your heart is set on finding those missing girls, I take it. Well, I have something that just might help. There's an opening in the wall here. I'll... <laughs> Pass it through. Handle. What's this thing? That's a valve handle. Folks have been using them to solve water-themed puzzles for years. <laughs> valve handle? It's tradition. If you say so. <laughs> of course, Mimic has just what we need. Now let's go make use of it. Alright, knowing I can't do anything here. Another monster card I do not need. <sighs> the bats are still the worst. All right, let's go apply that handle to that valve. Yes. And it raises the water for us. That's awesome. Makes it easy to get up to where we're going next. What's special in here? Goodies. And something hidden that I cannot get right now. Oh, magic refills nice. Oh, it's her again. And apparently I can do this in here too. Huh. 
She seems curious of us for some reason. Holy crow, that thing did a lot, didn't it? That'll do for now. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> it may as well. Another mystery in this room? Is there anything I can do right now is the better question. Reveal hidden goodies. Handy. And a hidden path I saw. Any hidden goodies in here? Yes! Awesome! An MP saver is in our grasp. And it looks like we have our dungeon. That explains why the save elder is here. In we go. We're now in the coral mine. This place is actually really nifty. And there's lots to do here too. As you can see, the plank hint didn't go off. I don't think we can use it while we're here. Well, we can, it's just I don't think we're gonna get hints for it. Introducing us to something. Get these guys out quick if you can. Oh, I guess the plank hint does work in here. Well, before I go upward... Can't do anything to them just yet. Oh. Puzzle. Didn't want to move that. Can I only move that part? No, I can move the other. And... I don't have it in the right position. I can tell you that right now. So... Nope. There we go. It's not working. Well, I figured out the puzzle, it's just I don't have the means of doing it yet. Ah, yeah, hidden pathway. That was handy. Health and money. We're gonna end up getting that thing in no time. Okay, so I can't do much here. Let's see what I can do by going up, then. We can get ourselves a nice free heart squid! Odd. Oh, I think I know why that thing didn't trigger. There wasn't quite enough oomph to our weight, is the best way to put it. We need to give it a nice, good pull. There we go. And there's our key! Crafting our keys. Cools quickly, too. A lot of things in here are very man-made. Okay, on our way. I can't do anything to them yet. Oh, yes I can! I forgot the attract works on them! Haha! <laughs> so just like in uh, Pirate's Curse, when you dance, you can actually make everything attract to you. And those guys have an interesting card as well. I'm gonna go up first. Oh, we're being introduced to these guys. The only way to kill them is to melt them down. Alright. Something's in here. Hidden room. Dang it, not long enough. Alright, I could just do that. Ta da! <laughs> Gotta be stupid before you can be smart. The way we learn. I got a heart. That was nice of the game. I didn't want to fall all the way down, but okay. Wanted to go over this way. Ah, huh, we got ourselves a safe spot. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll save for now. Making some good progress. 
Let's see what's to the right. Boss room. Mini boss, I should say. Alright. Oh boy! Take him out, take him out, take him out. Nope. You gonna let me actually deal some damage to you? Thank you. I wonder. I could have drifted on them, huh? That would have made it easier, but I'm a very much more of attrition person. Huh. Handy handy. Another key. Glad we came this way then. All right. Now that we've done that, let's head this way. Probably heal a little more just to be on the safe side. Now we'll wait till these go off. There we go. Oh, I melted them. Okay. We got our key, but I want to take a look to the left. Let's see what we can find. Another key, even handier. And that's as far as we can go. Okay. Don't stand on the hot plates. <laughs> oh, this is giving us a clue of what's to, what to watch out for. I saw something, I kind of want it. Thank you. Alright. What's down here? Hmm. Ah. Let's see. Well, we can't move it all the way over. So... There we go. And there we go. <laughs> Not much to say, but it's self-explanatory. Ooh, now we're dealing with some hard hitters here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's see what I can do. Ah! The timing on that is terrible. Let's go. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe I just have to be patient. Ah! I could have had it there if I didn't hesitate. I was just overthinking it. Oh, perfect timing for a save room. And let me guess, it's either going to be a mini boss or something. Apparently, oh, I couldn't go certain directions, that would make sense. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll make myself a little save spot. Oh! You weren't behind the abductions after all. It's the work of those creatures. But what are they? And where are the others? <laughs> are you asking Risky Boots, Queen of the Seven Seas, for help? <laughs> the true rulers of this island are not the landlubbers up above, but rather the sirens that dwell down below. Seven in all. Five that rule over their domains. One wretched runaway. And the one whom they all serve. If you wish to save your friends, you must destroy the seven sirens. But first... You'll have to get past me! 
And it's another mini boss fight with risky boots. Which we have a little bit more cover this time. And she is using what she used in the previous game. Oh, that was quite a blast. Oh, so many Tinkerbats. Oh my. Whoop! That was close. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm healing. You're persistent! You needn't worry. I didn't come to this island to capture your friends. Those sirens can do whatever they want with them. I'm after the real treasure. Ta ta! Treasure? What in the world is she talking about? Knowing risky is nothing good. Oh, Vera! Snap out of it! Huh? What? Where, where am I? Was I asleep? Hold on, I'll get you out of there. Seems like this prison was designed to put you under. How do you feel? A bit distorted, but fine otherwise. Thanks much, Bunches, for coming to my rescue. Here, I have something for you. And now we have the Gastro Drill Fusion Coin. What's this? Mm -hmm. This is a magical fusion coin. It will allow you to transform instantly into a new form. This one bears the mark of Gastro Drill. Gastro Drill? Gastro Drills are burrowing creatures who move through the dirt. Using its abilities, you may be able to locate the source of evil in this place. Leave it to me. I promise to do my very best. Press against a soft surface with L to drill and give it a shot. I see they use the joystick there. I'm playing with the D-pad. And that is our way out of here. Any soft surface, and you can dig right through it. Be careful, though. There are little creatures that also burrow in here. And they are difficult to hit properly. These guys. You gotta hit while they're behind, not while they're coming at you. All right. I'm just looking around because it feels like I'm missing something. So we can either go left or we can go right. Hmm. Ah! Forgot that was a collapsible platform. <laughs> I'm gonna go right just because I get the feeling I can get goodies next to the save elder. Or I can go straight down. Go straight down. Hey, a heart squid! I'm glad I decided to go right. Alright. Go back up. Still can't do anything with these guys, but I can at least look around. So before we save, I'm gonna check over here. See what I can do. Cause it looks like I can do something. Get another heart squid, which I can't get right now, can I? I did see Plink, so let's find out. Hey, yeah, I can! Awesome, that's three out of three. There we go. Alright, I think that'll do it. So I'm going to save and call it an episode. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Shantae and the Seven Sirens. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time.